Hi, welcome to Landry Amps. Bill Landry here. And today I got an LS50 G3. And this particular amp is going out with Brian Quinn from Candlebox. Um, very, very soon. So I wanted to do this video because I haven't done one with the the with the G3 with the two master volumes. I don't think I have. So anyway, um, and then I had some questions recently I thought I'd try to address. Um, basically, oh, I'm recording this with a, an old Zoom Q3. So I'm not using the SM57, I'm not recording like that at all, it's just the camera. So I'm recording at a very low volume. See the massive volume, so it's barely, barely on basically. Um, but, uh, so keep that in mind, tone wise, that's, that's where the volume is. It's just almost not even on. You might even hear the, the strings along with the sound. Um, okay, so to the video, the two master volumes, how does it work? So the clean channel, which is the top row of knobs, you got your gain, treble, mid, bass, and channel volume. Each channel has a channel volume which serves as um, blend knobs, obviously, but also as the send level for the loop. And I have the MIDI verbs in the loop right now. Um, so the clean channel and then the red mode of the distortion channel is on one master volume. So once you blend your channels, this would, the red mode of the distortion channel would be basically your you can think of as your, your rhythm channel, your crunch channel. I've got the gain pretty high on it, where I normally like it. Then I go to the clean channel. Clean channel's a little louder, I guess. High gain though, you get you get this other gain control, and then it switches you over to the second master volume. One of them's labeled rhythm master, the other one's labeled just master volume. But that's your lead volume. So you not only get um, a distortion boost by adding another gain stage to the channel, it switches you over to the second master volume so that you, you can have a boost if you want. So no matter where you set the gains, which they're interactive, I, I know I've explained this on other videos, but it's been a while. Um, like, okay, here on the high gain. See, I can turn it off by the red gain control. They're both active because they're in two different parts of the circuit. Either one will turn it off. switch on the back it's called classic and modern um, the classic is just straight to distortion the modern is it just kicks in some dis distortion diodes it doesn't add a ton of distortion to it but it does add a little bit and I'll show you what happens when I uh, so I'm in the red mode and the distortions uh, the distortion diodes only affect the distortion channel right has no effect on the clean channel. But it does affect both 
modes of the, the yellow and the red mode of the distortion channel. And when you kick in the diodes, it's gonna it sucks some of the volume out. Watch. See that? And you make up for that right here with the channel volume. That volume that you've lost happens in the tone stack of the distortion channel. So all you gotta do you can make up a lot of a volume. Watch me. I'm gonna take them back out. I'm not sure where I had the volume exactly, but you get the point. That's it. about the volume I practice that when I when I practice <laughs> but also um, okay the, the, how do I have this set the tone set I've got the bright switch which also is only for the distortion channel it's a three-way bright switch bright switch is in the middle um, down is is the darkest it takes both bright caps out and then you have one added and then in the, in the middle position and the top position you have both added so normally I keep it in the middle um, the treble is about 11 o'clock, mid-range is at about 10 o'clock, and then I got the bass dive, then I've got the, pre the depth control up, presence here. I can drastically change that. <laughs> stack is, is pretty um, effective. G3 going out with candle box. Um, hopefully I'll be shipping it here in, in the next few days. I'm not sure when he wants to receive it, but um, with the two master volumes, I think a lot of guys, it's basically a lead boost, you know, that you can control with the gain and the, the overall master volume. So if you got any questions, email bill at landryamps.com or you can call me, my number's on the website. So uh, there you have it.